Okay, so I go back to my Formula One. Exam. Hi, Andrew. This is Amanda. Yes, Amanda. Uh, is it okay for me to ask uh, two questions? Yes, go now? ahead. Yeah, I yeah. think we, we're still good on time, so go ahead. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. First, uh, I would like to thank you for your coaching so far. I think OKR is a brilliant uh, framework to be used uh, to write. Uh, Man, I think we missed, well, we can't hear. Amanda, I think we lost you. Okay, I think we lost her. Let's go ahead. If she comes back and we hear from her, we'll, we'll take the question, okay? So going to my favorite auto sport, Formula One. How do you guys feel about this objective here, okay? Win the Formula One Championship 2021. Well, yeah, man, nobody said it was easy, right? So that's good. Now, how do you guys feel about this key result? Anybody feel like, I feel it or, yeah. How do you guys feel about this KR? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Anybody? Uh, I mean, that's what they try to achieve, uh, decreasing lap time. I mean, in, okay. And, yeah, that's I what mean, they're trying. That's there's what a good, trying to, there's okay. a good uh, YouTube about it uh, for, I think of the Ferrari team that has reduced the, the lap time or the... Uh, uh, yeah, now, remember that they have to be measurable, right? Well, decreasing lap times you can measure and reduce pit stop you can measure, but you're not really setting anything or saying, okay, so if we reduce by 0.1 of a second is good, right? It may be good, but the other people are going to reduce by 0.5 and <laughs> they beat you. So this is what we call weak OKR because, yeah, 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 we can do that. I mean, of course we can decrease lap time from one year to the next, you know, and we can reduce the pit stop. Well, yeah, sure we can, but well, where is the, where, this is probable. That's not the best possible, right? So it's a bit weak because of that, actually, rather weak. Now let's think about this one. The decrease lap times by half a second, right? Yes. Here I just said decrease lap time. So anything goes 0 0.001, it's great, right? Here, I'm actually pushing something. Reduce pit stop by 0.2. So I'm actually getting people, uh, oh, hold on. It's not only reduce, we have to actually beat some number, right? So we are going, we are not in the comfort zone of the, oh yeah, we can do it, most probable, right? We're going to try the best possible. So this is an average OKR. And the reason being, I don't think this is actually the best possible. It's way better than the first one. There's no question about it. I mean, it's taking people a bit out of their comfort zone, right? Because they know they can meet that one. That's the most probable. Now I'm going for best possible. What am I? Yeah. What about this one? Decrease lap times by one second in all races, right? So decrease lap times, I don't know what that means, it's anything, right? Decrease by half a second, where? In the first race, in the third race, in the 15th race, or in one race, in all races? I don't know, right? And then I put here, decrease lap times by one second, which is tough, in all races. See, I'm pushing people way out of their comfort zone. The first one is comfortable. The second one, yeah, 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 we, yeah, we can push it a little bit. No, the third one is actually kicking people in their behinds and say, let's do it. Now, reduce pit stop. Well, you know, most people are doing 2.4 seconds to 2.8 seconds. Well, Red Bull does in under two. So hell or high water, we have to do under two seconds. We have to maintain 
every single race you're going to have to do under two seconds. That is very tough. But hey, so what? If I get in half of the races, I'm probably going to beat a lot of people. I may actually beat Red Bull. Now, just making it under two seconds. No, let's toughen this up. We have to reduce the pitch stop errors by to 10% maximum. So there's 23 races this year. We cannot have pit stop errors in more than 10% of the number of pit stops. And usually there is one to two per race. So if you do like 23 races, two, right, 46, so we can have like four pit stop errors the whole year. It's way better than reduce the pit stop. It's way better than reduce the pit stop by two. 0.02, right? It's forcing people to think how we're going to do this. The first one is probable. It's the most probable. The next one is the best possible. The, the third one is the best possible. Is it easy? Nobody said it was easy, but that's the whole point. Whatever we get from that, we improved a lot from the kind of lame one and the first one. And if we get all of that, oh man, we definitely are gonna win. Think about this. Which brings two terms that you should be familiar with. Commitments are OKR that we agree that they're going to be achieved. And we're gonna give you the schedules, the people, resources to ensure that they get achieved. Kennedy said, land before the end of the decade. Yeah, they spent a lot of money, people and resources, and they made it happen. So this is a committed OKR. You either do or you do it, right? It has to be a one. You have to nail it. Well, if you didn't nail, you better go figure out why not. We had several flights and sub programs until they get to Apollo and launch, right? And each, each flight, they learned something, they did a retro and they tried to figure out what it would take to make it better, right? So then there is aspirational OKRs. Hey, is how the things we would like them to be, but we're not really sure how to do it. We don't know if we have the resources like Elon Musk saying that they have a fully automated autopilot and then the crash, the car crashed and with two people sitting on the back, right? So, I mean, yeah, that's wishful thinking. We have a fully automated one, right? He may or may not right now. It looks like they don't, right? But they said the same thing about SpaceX. So these guys are never going to land the rocket, right? So their aspiration was to do it. It took, I think, 17 tries to do the first one, right? Now, they are committed, they expect it to happen all the time, right? So the aspiration, if you get 70%, 60%, there's a little bit of variance in there, right? Depending on what it is. And those things are also called roof shots or rooftops and moon shots. So this is another way to call committed OKRs are roof shots, rooftops, and the aspiration I call the moon shots because of the Kennedy situation with the moon program in the 60s.